Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Francois Tombalbaye. Francois Tombalbaye, also known as Ngarta Tombalbaye, was a Chadian teacher and trade union activist who served as the first president of Chad after the country's independence in 1960. Tombalbaye was born on the 15th of June 1918 and died on the 13th of April 1975 when he was assassinated. Born in Besada, Moyenchari, a village in the southern region of the French colony of Chad, his father was a successful trader of the Sara ethnic group. Tombalbaye attended a primary school run by Protestant missionaries in Sar and went ahead for his secondary education in Brazzaville. He was passionate about education, particularly because there were only a few schools around at the time. This passion drove him to study education in Brazzaville. In 1946, Tombalbaye formed a chapter of the first political party in Chad, the Chadian Progressive Party, originally called Parti Progressiste Chadian, PPT, in Sar, and convinced people of his clan and some others to join. The party, in its last two years, was known as the National Movement for the Cultural and Social Revolution, originally called MNRCS. In 1949, after he had got some support and made some daring efforts, his political activism heightened to the annoyance of the French government, which tried to silence him, but couldn't, then banned him from teaching which was his primary occupation and means of income. This was a way to punish him. One would have thought this would weaken him, but resilient Tumblebaye went ahead the following year to direct the PPT newspaper, AEF Novel, which was shut down the same year through French repression. In 1952, he won a seat in the Colonial Territorial Assembly. In 1957, he was elected to serve as vice president in French Equatorial Africa's General Council. Tombalbaye kept striving in his political ambition and his hard work paid off because after Chad's independence on the 11th of August 1960, he was elected the first post-independence president of Chad with 1,556,113 votes. Prior to these, during the World War II, Tombalbaye fought for free France against the Nazi-backed Vichy regime. His resilience and other political feats won him the popularity he got in Chad. Tombalbaye led Chad from 1960 to 1975, and his regime was dominated by the southern part of the country, despite his efforts to bridge the gap between the north and the south. Although many claimed those efforts were half-heartedly done because he was from the South, already during colonialism, the Southerners were more exposed to the French administrators, hence dominated political life after independence. Tombalbaye's regime didn't make the situation any better. Within five years of his leadership, Rebels group came up in various parts of the country because his approach was largely unfavorable to northerners and easterners. Despite his dissatisfaction with the French military presence in Chad after independence, Tumblebaye seemed to rely on it to restore peace in Chad, perhaps because he felt insecure and helpless. To a large extent, his administration failed to meet many post-independence expectations of Chadians. There was an economic downturn, gross ethnic violence, and poor governance. Tombalbaye's autocratic style of governance and constant fear of opposition made matters worse in the country and weakened the effectiveness of his administration. His fear of opposition, alongside his desire to increase his power and freedom of action, led him in January 1962 to declare a ban on all political parties in Chad, except his PPT. So, he achieved a single-party system, which only made him more of a dictator and, as a result, was more hated by Chadians. In April of the same year, 
he established a presidential form of government, and when there were severe riots in 1963, he declared a state of emergency and dissolved the National Assembly. Again, as part of his constant fears for political opponents, Tumbalbaye created a special criminal court, which by the end of the year had sent many foremost Chadian politicians to prison. He expelled French troops from Chad but employed French advisors in many government positions. He also allowed France to control most of the nation's financial operations despite the independence already gained. This made him appear confused and indecisive. Also, he strengthened presidential authority and ignored every recommendation to delegate authority to provincial officials and traditional leaders. Tumbobai's excesses were the major reasons for the failure of his administration and his eventual assassination. At some time during his regime, he ordered the army to round up workers for a massive cotton planting effort. At some other time, he began a program he tagged Chattitude, which forced people to change their French names to African names. Tumbobai also denounced Christianity and expelled missionaries in Chad. He also killed civil servants and soldiers who failed to undergo Vondo, a cruel initiation that involved beatings, scaring, brutal tests of stamina, and other forms of torture. All of these and much more led to the move of Chadian military officers to assassinate him on the 13th of April, 1975. In 1973, François Tombaubaye Africanized his name and became Ngerta Tombaubaye. Tombalbaye had deep tribal marks on his face, which were evidence of his tribal origin. After Tombalbaye's death, Chadians were glad to welcome a military regime, which made efforts to correct many of his wrongdoings. What have we missed out of this biography of Tombalbaye? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.